we got a beautiful view for you out on our Jet Express Cam this morning. All those boats are out pretty much enjoying the Labor Day holiday as we got some clear, beautiful blue skies out there for you. But it is a hot one as well as we go throughout today. Temperatures are already into the mid 80s just afternoon. Uh, this afternoon, that is 84 degrees in Toledo, 86 already in Ottawa. Out in Finley, 86 degrees and more along the lake shore is 84 degrees in Port Clinton, 83 in Sandusky. So pretty much all of our area is uh, kind of getting in on the heat for today. Of course, look at their Labor Day forecast. It's going to be a sunny and hot one. Temperatures are jumping up to around 92 degrees and it's just downright going to be a hot one out there for you as you go throughout this afternoon to the evening hours. Eventually, it's hopping out for you. Uh, as we go throughout this evening, temperatures will be back into the upper 80s uh, by 6 p.m. tonight, uh, but it'll still be uh, warm and hot out there. But eventually, as we cross over into your Tuesday morning, we'll likely see uh, how temperatures pretty much were to this morning, upper 60s, lower 70s. So it'll be a bit of a warm start again uh, to our Tuesday. But by the afternoon hours, yeah, we'll see temperatures to the upper 80s and even lower 90s as we had throughout Tuesday evening. So look at that the Labor Day heat. That forecast high right around 92 degrees. Uh, we likely won't see that record high uh, for today, which is uh, right around 94 degrees. So we'll get close to it, but won't necessarily tie it or break it as you go throughout your Labor Day. Of course, looking at those high temperatures over the next 10 days, we'll still see the 90s for a good amount of days into Tuesday and Wednesday, but we finally see a relief from the heat as we go throughout your Thursday and Friday where temperatures will be into the lower 80s. But hey, we got some fall-like conditions on the way for this weekend. We're talking the mid-70s, and it is going to feel nice just in time for the weekend. So we do have at least uh, some of uh, below average temperatures on the way for us as we go throughout September 9th through the 13th. Uh, usually we see that high around 82 degrees likely going to be below that as we head throughout the later part of this week. Now we do have some rain chances as well uh, to talk about for you. We'll like to see a few evening showers and storms uh, for Tuesday and uh, pretty much early on Wednesday. And as we go throughout uh, at least the day on Wednesday, we'll see some on and off showers out there for you right around 8 p.m. We'll see more showers on the way for Wednesday and into Thursday. Of course, look at that umbrella forecast for you. Still nice, dry and hot for your Monday. We'll start to usher in a few showers Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So you may need that umbrella uh, before you head out to work on Tuesday through Wednesday, uh, at, at least for this week. Look at that extended forecast. Still got multiple days. We'll like to see 90s in the forecast. We do have those rain chances for the middle part of this week. Eventually by a Thursday, well, that will be the last chance of some rain for the week. It will be less humid by Friday, and we welcome into a little taste of fall by the week. And we're talking 70s hanging around even until next week. I don't mind if fall feels like the 70s. Yeah, I don't <laughs> mind that at all. I mean, we got it all this week, 90s, 80s, and 70s. I know, but it will be before you know it. It's October, yes. and it's going to start cooling down. I will say the fall is nice, especially after really hot temperatures like this. Yeah, exactly. It gives you some relief from just the hot and, you know, muggy, mugginess of it all. Yeah, I'm not ready to say goodbye to summer yet, though, so. Okay, yeah. Let's hold off on that. We won't say goodbye just Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Let's hold off <laughs> on the really cold temperatures. <laughs> I got it.